Diagnosed with a deadly brain cancer, a Valley nurse turned to his community in his most desperate hour. And boy, did they rally around him. We told you about Ian Youngblood on Friday. The cancer diagnosis coming after that three month stint volunteering right there on the front lines in New York. ABC 15's Cameron Pullen catching up with him again today. I would have never expected anything like this, to, but I mean, I would have never expected to have brain cancer either. Ian Youngblood is taking it day by day. The former firefighter and Valley ER nurse spent the last three months volunteering in New York, caring for countless patients as the coronavirus wreaked havoc on the city. There was a high need and, you know, it's an, it's an honor to be with people that are that compassionate about other people. It was at the end of his deployment after helping save so many lives that his would now be the one in need of saving. A headache and seizure led to a CT scan. On it was stage four glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer. I'm used to being the one that tries to hold someone up, not the one that has to lean a little bit. After revealing he'd be fighting the battle without insurance, the community leaned in too. Since our story ran Friday, friends, family, and strangers donated more than $100,000 to a GoFundMe page set up for the 29-year-old. Helps me kind of keep going on to know that, you know, there's so much love and care out there. He's already had an emergency craniotomy that removed 80% of the tumor. Ian and his medical team now turned to targeted chemo and radiation, hoping to overcome a prognosis that takes most of its victims in a matter of years. But thanks to everyone in his corner, his plans of beating the odds now have a cheering section. Thank you so much for the prayers. Like that's really all that I uh, that I need at this moment. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona.